Hi guys, welcome back to WebZero. In the previous one, we did some modifications to our app so that we can add uh, tasks uh, using an enter key, right? So in this one, I'm gonna add Firebase uh, to this app. Now, in order to add Firebase, we have to get to the Firebase console. I hope uh, you have an account. You can create a project and I'll call this uh, Swell Kit. I don't want any analytics on this. All right, the project is ready. Um, I'll get the configuration from here. So I want it for web. I'll name it as uh, to do app. I don't want hosting, so I'll register this app. Now this configuration I'm gonna save. You can get it in the console as well, but I'll just uh, save it in my app. Somewhere like I'll create a folder and call this library or lib. Uh, we use library because you know this has already been defined here as an alias, so this makes makes it easier to import things if you put something inside library folder. Create a new file called Firebase config. You can put this in uh, environment variable as well, but I would uh, I like it here. Okay, this should be fine. Just make sure that it can be importable. Export. Next. All right, and that's there. Now here, I'll go to Cloud Firestore. So this is where our to-dos will be. Create database. I will try this in uh, test mode. I'll put uh, Asia South. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I'll start a collection here uh, called to do's and this can have documents um, task task or yeah it also has is complete it's a boolean and it's uh, usually false and I'll have uh, created at as date. Let's select some date. It should be okay. I'll add another document. Task is uh, another task. Is complete. Let's hope this is a. Uh, this is true. Created at timestamp and we'll select a date. Okay, so there are two documents now. So this will be uh, two entries that we should fetch in our app. Okay, for the app, I'm going to use Firebase 9, SDK version 9. So we'll see how that works out. Um, build firestore so one good thing about firestore uh, basically firebase is it has a very nice documentation where you can uh, uh, go through and uh, find things easily now here you can also select versions and languages that you want to develop now it says i will have to install this i'll do that go here paste that okay firebase 9 is installed so version 9 has a modular uh, structure maybe it will reduce our bundle size uh, let's see now these two i want both of them uh, i will put it in here itself and i will also need the configuration import firebase config Uh, from 
library. Yeah, this. And uh, what else do we need? We have to initialize, right? And yeah, then we can start using it. Now, initializing is done by, okay, before I initialize, uh, we might get some errors. Let's see what happens. Const Firebase app equals initialize app. This is how you do it. You pass the configuration Firebase. Uh, these are the configurations. Now, once you pass that, it should initialize. So if I console log Firebase app, this should give me something. Now, one thing is, uh, let's see if I can refresh here. Okay, I got uh, Firebase app. Now, this is all good. Uh, sometimes, you know, it might throw an error. Uh, that Firebase already exists. So when we see that error, I'll tell you what to do. Now we have Firestore. We have initialized the app. Now let's see how we can get. Uh, okay, we have to do uh, db is equal to get Firestore. We'll do that. Once db is equal to Firestore, and I can uh, console log that as well. Sorry just to see everything is initialized. We have DB here. Let's see. Okay, so this is the error I was talking about. This, you might face it a lot. Firebase app named default already exists. Um, so let's see how to fix it. So since I am using SwellKit, I might face multiple issues here uh, regarding Firebase running on, uh, all these things running on a you know, server side. So, uh, if you have Firebase already initialized, you will see this error uh, that it already exists. Why are you initializing again? So let's see how to get rid of that. So there are some options that you can get from this, uh, which is get apps. And there is one more called get app. Okay. So how we can, uh, you know, stop this is if get apps uh, it will return an array uh, dot length equal to equal to you know uh, triple equal zero then firebase is not initialized we can initialize it all right uh, maybe we can uh, put this outside anyway so this should be okay else if it's already initialized you just have to do get app so this would take care of uh, the you know, uh, error it should well, let's see e is not defined what is e okay maybe firebase app is you know in, in here is that why am i getting the console Yeah, okay, so this could be a server-side error. So I'll tell you how to fix that as well. So you will not face this issue in uh, Svelte if you're using uh, plain Svelte. I am using Svelte Kit. So I have to run, you know, get browser. So this is a check on whether uh, we are running on server or browser. So I need from here. Okay, now whenever this is you know if it is true if the you know if it is running on browser uh, false if it is running on server so one thing i may have to do here is have this under browser i, I know this is a lot of conditions here so i'll simplify it eventually and uh, maybe i have to put this in as well let's see if we get the same error Firebase app is not defined. Okay, since it uh, it is inside, I'll just put it outside here. I'll make it let Firebase app, and then I use the same thing to initialize. So whatever we have now, DB is not defined. Okay, so I may have to do let DB as well. Um, and 
TV equals time stop. All right, everything works fine now. But this looks kind of ugly. Um, so maybe we can uh, simplify it in some way. So let's see. So let Firebase app equals. First thing is we have to check it's uh, you know it's whether it's running on browser and uh, what we do is if you put and and only when it is in the browser it will run and I'll have the inline binary operation here conditional operation get apps dot length equal to equal to zero then initialize app with fairways config else this column is else get app all right now all this i will have to put it in a bracket and i can use constant instead of let and that should do it i can uh, just remove this entire thing and also this browser condition because and i can uh, get rid of this let also export no uh, not export constant db equals here also i'll use this condition browser and and now if you're using Svelte, you don't have to go through all this. Uh, since I'm using Svelte Kit, I don't want this to run on server. Okay, that still works. That's good. Yeah, no errors here, which is good. So we got DB. With that, we can actually get the to-dos. Um, let's see. In the documentation, what we want is uh, read data, listen for real-time updates. That's what we want. Uh, when we get the data uh, What we want here is uh, Events from local changes Listen multiple documents. Yeah, this is the one we want Now it says collection on snapshot query and where uh, This query and where is for filtering. Uh, we don't want that right now but We want on snapshot and collection. So I'll get this where is firestore okay now query and where i'm gonna remove for now collection and snapshot be there uh, okay so this i want so where do i do it here constant collection uh, i'll call this collection reference equals collection db we called it to do's right so that's the collection now this might be you now this might feel very different from how you used to do it in uh, version 8 and before that uh, this is actually nice I kind of like it so column reference is done here also I may have to use browser and just to be sure and uh, finally okay so i can put it in a function i'm guessing get the whole function here on snapshot it's not q it's a call right it's not cities it's a to do's right so what will I do is I'll completely remove the cities. I'll use this to do's, keep it a little up here, higher up somewhere above this function. And then here uh, I can do to do start push. Instead, I'll do one thing. I'll do let to do equals. Uh, I want few things here. Uh, I will spread the data here doc doc dot data and i will also add the id doc dot id as an id field here that should do it and to do's 
equals we are doing it in uh, each loop this might cause a problem all right I'll, I'll take one more thing let firebase to those equals empty array and then here we'll do firebase to those equals I will uh, add to do and then spread the Firebase to this. Okay. Now this I remove. I should be able to get log or just have table FB to this. Okay. Q is not defined. Where, where am I using Q? Am I using Q here? Okay, maybe it is. Cannot use in software. Okay. Yeah, this is again the server error. Uh, I'll do that. I'll fix it with browser. That should take care of it. Okay, so I'm getting the tools here. A task and another task. Uh, this should be good. I'll refresh again just to see whether I get it. Okay, good. Now I just have to assign this to our to dos. So instead of console log here, to dos equals fp to dos. And that should uh, show it here. Nice. So yes, we got it. Um, but when we change something, you know, it doesn't, it's not going to affect. Uh, what's in our you know uh, what's here so another task is true uh, but if I click on it it's not gonna be false so we'll we'll handle all that now for now with this function we have gotten our to do's from Firebase so let me refresh and it comes there so this should be it for this one so in the next one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna handle um the you know mark to do as complete delete to do and if there is anything uh, maybe like styling it and all those things thanks guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye